we are going to work on this mold. Now I'm going to tell you a little backstory between this mold. I saw it, I love it. I tried using it with UV resin because I've not used UV resin. People out there that work with UV resin are going to go, oh, gasp, horror, Sharon, what did you do? Yep, you're right. It cannot penetrate unless it's a clear mold. So I had sticky goo in here and I kept pulling the layer off and then letting it set, pulling the layer off, letting it set and then I've gone in there and I have wiped it out. Anyway, I've got it back to almost perfect condition as I've got it, but I'm going to create myself a few little videos showing you some molds that I've recently got of it, ocean theme or seaside theme, holiday theme, because uh, I'm going to build up a little collection for a piece I'm doing. So this piece is going to be these wonderful flip flops. Now, I know people out there may, when I put these all together, will say, well, your sizes are all wrong. Well, I know. <laughs> They're not meant to be perfect or realism, a suggestion. But I'm hoping I'm going to create a fun um, sort of ocean piece with it. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this. Now, I'm going to have my flip-flops as gold, but I am going to go in there and dust my flower um, with, I don't know, orange. And should I say brown? Oh, I don't know. What am I going to do? No, I'm going to dust my flower gold and my sort of, that top part that keeps it on your foot, gold, and then I'm gonna come in with brown underneath. Now, let's hope this is gonna be successful. But onwards and upwards, Sharon. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember to visit my Etsy store, Redbubble or Facebook. There might be some treasures there that you want to purchase. Other than that, join my Facebook group if you want to showcase some of your creations. But we are gonna get on with this video now. And yeah. Have the most amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Let's fingers crossed that these are going to work out after my disaster of UV resin. The pigment I'm going to use is the Colour Cottage. I'm sticking with the Colour Cottage for this theme and I am going to see if I just gently dust this inside here before I pour what's going to happen. Is it going to add any value? And I've seen my wonderful girl pile, Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner, come in and she has done a wonderful job with her shells that she creates and using mica powder. You can already see I'm using too much. So I'll pull that over. Uh, but Claire, I hope that you are not um, cursing at the camera with my lack of professionalism and trying this. Hey, Sharon from David Days, we're back to review this mould. Was it successful? I'm not too sure, but I do hear the patter of very cute little feet. They are just so cute and adorable. Now I used the mica powder and dusted it in, which was the coffee. And I, with the gold, was it coffee? Oh my god i'll put the link at the bottom my brain's not working i don't have it to hand but it was the color cottage pigment the gold and the brown now these have um they have come out matte which with any silicone as long as it's not shiny the mold you know they are going to be matte i'm not bothered because i'm going to use these for a piece where they're going to be submerged now it's going to be a really interesting fantasy abstract piece with all different beach things that i think are really cute none of them are going to be proportionally correct but look at the detail and so many different potentials that you can do. And maybe I won't dust as much mica powder on the next time. But if you did want to change these to shiny, just put over that some UV resin. Paint it on. Make them shiny. But let's do a happy dance. Because I think they're successful. 
and I will put the link in my description for the Etsy store that I ordered them from and I'd love to know if you've made any cute little pairs of shoes uh, for any of your resin pieces or embellishments but thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome remember to pop back and see me and see what this video is going to be like remember I've got a 30,000 subscriber um, celebration where there'll be a giveaway and also if you want to showcase your art pop over to my Facebook group and join that I'd love to see what you're creating and maybe you can inspire me and hopefully I'm inspiring you and other than that pop over to Etsy Facebook Redbubble there might be some treasures there that you want to purchase of mine but let's go back and just admire these beautiful little shoes did you ever is it Elf and the Shoemaker I can't remember child drum book I'm wondering if you've seen it. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Come back and see me shortly. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're safe. But above all, I hope you're creating. See you later. Bye.